All right, so now before we wrap things up, we thought just try something out. This might work, it might not. Uh, you know, it, I think people would agree that, well, not just the three of us, but with the three of us, we spend a lot of time together. Um, Lund and I have lived together now for almost three years. We thought we'd see how well Lund actually knows me, how much he pays <laughs> attention. So Dustin's got a little quiz for you. I don't know the questions, and, and I want to see too if Dustin, what Dustin thinks are the right answers are the right answers. So here's a little segment called 10 Things I Know About Ted. So what do I have to get? Like if I get three right, is that enough? If you get 10 right, I will wow. move out in eight years. All, all right, Lundy, right, ready? Yeah. All Question right, one, easy one. Okay. What is Ted's favorite food? Oh, there's just so many answers. Um, like, is it is is it specific or like a uh, is it like a nationality? Are, this gonna, isn't a spelling bee. Yeah, I'm gonna so I'm gonna say Chinese food. That is, I mean, I don't have one specific favorite, so I will accept Chinese. Yes. Food. Actually, I should I should wait and see you say yes or no, Dustin, and I want to see if you're right. Too. I would I would have thought pizza. Uh, no, no. If I was going to go with a specific food, it's absolutely a hot dog. So, so wait, did, did I get it? Like, are you awarding the points? I'm giving you a point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lonnie. Question number two. Okay. What is Ted's favorite? Who is Ted's favorite football team? Oh, I, I do know this one. Uh, the Tennessee Titans. Who are losing 41 to seven at this point right now. And let me just say this. Ted just has no faith in his own team. Every time, every time that they're up, he's always talking about how they're going to blow it. And they're they have a good good team this year. They're they're playing well. Not today. I mean, I guess I guess it's not today when you air this. But they could be playing bad when someone's listening to this, though. It's very yes. possible. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so two for two. Yeah, I'll I'll agree. Tennessee Titans. Okay, right. Lund. Question number three: yeah. Who is Ted's favorite hockey player all time? Oh, I do. living, dead, playing, not. Just knowing Ted, I know it's got to be someone old. Um, it, it wouldn't be like a normal, it wouldn't be like a normal or common favorite player. So I'm going to say somebody like Gordie Howe. I'm going Theo Fleury. Those are both good guesses. Theo Fleury was my hero growing up, but the more I got to know hockey and learn about the history of hockey, is it Bobby Orr, number one? Okay. Oh, wow. All right. I, I probably should have said Peter Marr, to be honest. You're a broadcast guy. Yeah, that is, uh, that is one of the reasons I got into broadcasting. Real, real story there. Hey, Lund, you didn't get that one right, but that was a tough one. Yeah. Question number true. four, what is Ted's favorite local restaurant? This is this is going to burn some bridges for me yeah. here, depending on who's listening. Uh, I'm going to go with Bo's. I'll say Famoso. And I'll say... <laughs> Whatever, if you're, a, if you're a local restaurant owner and you think that you're my favorite restaurant, you're right. Next question. Good answer. So I guess I get that answer, one right. Good answer. Yeah. We'll, we'll award you the points there, Lon, because it could have been right. It is. Okay. Bo's, you know what? Bo's, great food. Uh, Brennan, great person, does a lot for the community. So yeah. And Famoso, same thing there with, with Ryan Curtis. Two guys who do a lot for us. So we'll, we'll call both of those correct answers for sure. Okay, Lundy. Question number five. What's Ted's favorite color? Ted's favorite color... <sighs> Oh, I'm going to say blue. I'm going red. Blue is a good guess. It's blue. Oh, wow. I should move in. Yeah, you and me can trade places. All right, Lonnie, question number six. What is Ted's favorite vacation destination? Uh, it's out east with his family in... Well, it's Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. I'll say Disneyland. Disney World. But yes and yes. Both Disneyland. Well, I've only been one. to Disneyland once, but it is Nova Scotia is my favorite place in the whole world. Oh. Wow. Stay hot, Lundy. Yeah. This guy never shuts up about his life, so I know everything <laughs> about him. <laughs> here's that a, is a good point. Here's, here's a, this is going to be a tough one. If you get this right. Uh, do I win if I get this yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess if you get it right, we're pretty much playing match game and you guys know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. yeah. Stop the count. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, what is Ted's favorite gas station? Where does he get his gas? Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it? Octane? Where did he get his octane? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's for his, high, for yeah. his car. Oh, for his car. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, he gets plenty of octane from Taco Bell. Uh, like... Ted Ted's probably not that picky about the gas itself. He probably goes to the place, the gas station with the nicest bathroom. And there was that one place. It's on Gasoline Alley, I think, isn't that, it? The nicest had, gas that had the bathroom? nicest bath. So I'm gonna say that that gas station. I just I go to the shell so I get air miles. <laughs> wow! Hey, <Well, laughs> surprise! Ted is a practical human being. Well, that's such a normal yeah, answer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're we're over here in Alex, Alberta, yeah. or, or Timberstone, and he's gonna drive to Gasoline Alley to get his gas. That's the worst answer yeah. ever. I I don't know. They they have a nice bathroom, and I know Ted appreciates a nice bathroom. Okay, next question. Question number eight. Yeah, who is Ted's favorite actress? Betty White. I'm going Jennifer Aniston. I don't even know if I if I have an answer to that one. Is you Be- know what? I think I think Betty White would be closer though. Because she is she is a gem. Who is Ted's a spinoff? Mm-hmm. Who is Ted's actress crush? Crush. Um Betty White. <laughs> okay, I'm going Jennifer Aniston again. Jennifer yeah, oh yeah, Jennifer Aniston for for a long time for sure. I think uh the correct answer though would be the pink power ranger. Because I'm only human. Not now, but like when I was a kid. <laughs> I, now it would be a little weird. Like mask on or yeah, not? My name was Doesn't Kate. matter. Her, no, no, yeah, mask on. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Could you? You know oh. what? Growing up, I probably imagined that a lot. I, I'm not going to lie. What is Ted's favorite song all time? Uh, oh, all time's tough. It's, it's it's a boy band. It's It's got to be Backstreet Boys. Uh, I, I want it that way. I'm going to go... Ted used to work at a few radio stations, so he's he's got me in line beat on the cultured piece in music. I'm gonna go old time rock, Guns N' Roses, ACDC. You can't keep <laughs> nodding and giving me hints. I'll uh, I'll say Prince Kiss. Oh, that's a great song. Great guest, Lund. But fun fact, I want it that way is not even my favorite Backstreet Boys song. So we'll we'll leave that for a. Well, if we ever get to episode two, but give me shelter, Rolling Stones, oh. hands down, probably at least in my opinion, just the most perfect song ever made. Hey, never, Lundy, n- never heard of it. Me neither. You're on a streak right now of uh, one, two, three in a row wrong. So let's finish strong. Question number ten. Yeah, and a little bit of an easier one because there's not many options. But which is Ted's favorite local golf course? And by local, let's do a thirty minute diam or er, diameter. No. Radius. Radius. Oh, math. <laughs> yeah, we trigonometry so wasn't not my doing any math. algebra, trigonometry. That was my strong suit. So I'm going to rule out, I'm going to rule out uh, the Red Deer Golf and Country Club there because I don't think Ted's broke 100 playing there in no. a long time. Um, Just my spirit. That's the only thing that gets broken. Yeah. So I, I guarantee you it's not going to be that one. Oh, this is a tough one because... I go where the deal's at. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, he's going to go where he gets free golf or wherever someone takes him. But it, assuming price is no, assuming they're all free or all the same price, I'll, I'll just say Riverbend. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say Riverbend too, but I'll go Alberta Springs just to be different. I do like Riverbend. I mean, obviously it's a two minute drive from here, but I like Riverbend. I like the golf course. The mini links is an absolute, like if... If you're listening, you have kids or not, like in the summer, go down and play that mini links. It's great practice. It's a lot of fun. We go down there, play skins games, and I go down there to run or walk the path. So Riverbend, Riverbend is the total package in what I'm looking for in outdoor recreation. Well, at least you finished strong, Lundy. So uh, what I got, six or eight, seven, I, right? I think you were both six, yeah. But all the ones that got wrong were, like Ted didn't even have answers for those. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So. I came up with these questions on the way over and just, as you can see, I'm saw a gas station time. and saw a pizza <laughs> place. <laughs> what, what's Ted's favorite tur- turn signal? The left turn signal or the right turn signal? Oh, dear.